Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Lawrenceville, Georgia, as the glory goes to the Grizzlies by a final score of two to nothing over the SCAD Bees. And we're joined now by our Grizzly Today, presented by Jets Pizza on Sugarloaf Parkway. A long time coming from my good friend, Diego Malesi. Diego, how are you, my friend? Good. Thank you for having me today. Um, we're going to jump into these highlights here, but I want to give give me a bigger picture. This is now a three-game winning streak for Georgia Gwinnett. Yep. What's changed for the Grizzlies over the last three games? Uh, the last couple losses, you know, we, as you've seen, we have low numbers, you know, for red cards uh, due to COVID as well. And, yeah, the last couple, the last loss against MacView, was it correct? Yeah, it was that kind of hurt us inside and we wanted now we want to switch on now we want this streak to keep going now we I see a different uh vibe in the locker room before in the warm up as well halftime cuz you know you seen we start good first half and then second half we kind of slowed down now we're now we're switching it up now we just saw your first goal of this season it's been the journey for you but how does it goal how does it feel in this season to get your first goal this year it feels amazing it's I've been waiting for every game. I always say, today I'm scoring, today I'm scoring, you know. But, yeah, it feels amazing, yeah, especially in a, in a rough game like today. This guy did a very good job defensively, and it was hard for us to break behind the line. And, yeah, I'm glad that uh, to get the first goal today, you know, to help my team take the lead, you know. Jason Strambu gets a goal in the second half to make it 2 to nothing. But, really, the big story of the day was the defense. You talked about missing some starters on that back line, but Matthew Wallace and company stood very tall. If I had more microphones, we probably would have had all of them as our Grizzly yeah, of the day. But what, sure. is, what does it mean for you guys in the midfield when you see Wallace comes up with, you know, a handful of saves today and the defense even has a, knocks the ball off the end line during a, during a set piece? It feels amazing. It feels amazing to have, like, a goalkeeper that's confident, you know, that – I feel secure with him and behind me. I never have uh, any problems, any worry having Matt behind me. If he calls the for keep, I'm relaxed. You see, I don't jump anymore because I, I have trust <laughs> in his hands, you know. Yeah, exactly. So Very true. Well, yeah. some trust that we all have today is your ability on the pitch, but it has taken too long for the world to see who you are on this stage. Yeah. You and I have known each other for quite a number of years yeah. now, but the Grizzly fans <laughs> – are just starting to learn how you are. Describe your yeah. journey through all the injuries and eligibilities and all the other problems you've had throughout your career. How does it feel to be out there? Oh, it feels amazing. Watching every year go by, and I'm just here on the bleachers watching just like everybody else. And, yeah, and finally to be a part of the, the Grizzly family with my players, is, is, it's nice. It's a good feeling uh, every time I step on the field. Now that I know if I feel like family here, so I battle every, every ball, every play to make sure I put – everything on the line, you know. We had some Grizzlies in the house for Alumni Day, some of your former teammates. Cameron St. Perry Mitchell was here too yep. as well, had wonderful things to say about you. What's it like when you're on the pitch and you kind of look up in the bleachers and you see some of the alumni in the stands? It feels amazing because, like you said, like I was on the bleachers just like how they are, and I got to see them play, and and also I get I got to practice with them when in my rest of years, and, and I, I took some things from them being older than me. Uh, they had more experience, and now I'm using that the experience that they gave me on the field nowadays, you know, and I'm really glad that they're watching me play. For whatever it's worth, Diego, the alumni got a ton of shout-outs today. So, Renee and, and German and Cam, they all got shout-outs, so you, you don't have to include them in your shout-outs. So, yeah. uh, so uh, look into the camera there. Uh, phenomenal performance. Give us some shout-outs, man. Man, I want a shout-out for everybody that came to the game today. I saw Brandon. I saw Cam, Dave. I saw Adiola out there. They in still the getting shout-outs, man. Yeah, of course. <laughs> also, I want a shout-out to my boys, my dogs, my roommate, 1002. John Maria, Khalid, Ivano, Marco, Papu, everybody in the house. And shout out to the whole Grizzly team as well and, and the staff that, and Katie as well. Well yeah. done, well done. Katie, get some love there. Diego, <laughs> yeah, Katie, get some love, yeah. Congratulations, my man. Yep. Glory goes to the Grizzlies by a final score of two to nothing on a beautiful Saturday afternoon.